Hey there, garden fans, and welcome back to the Permaculture Homestead. In today's episode, I was doing some suburban swale maintenance, and I wanted to bring you along that journey so that maybe you could include some of these water-saving tips into your own suburban landscape. So a swale, in the most simplest of terms, is just a ditch, a small ditch dug on contour that is meant to slow, spread, and sink water into your landscape. So through the process of observation, I realized I was losing some water on site, and that if I made a small tweak by kicking out my swale, I could actually store and get more water into my landscape. So I utilized some logs that I got from a recent wood chipping adventure, and I basically used some of those wood chips and dry sand to shape a large trench here in the landscape so that water coming from the top of the property would drain into my swale a little easier. It's also gonna make it easier for me to use my water jugs. So I of course took the time to maintain all my swales here on the property by kicking them out just a little bit. Now these are suburban swales, mind you. It's really easy for me to maintain these with simple hand tools like a rake and a shovel. And I was able to find the contour a few years ago just by using an A-frame. However, the same principles can be applied on a larger scale, say 20, 30, or even 50 plus acres. Just by using some backhoes, and heavy machinery and laser levels. Now that I've gotten all my maintenance done here guys I wanted to go ahead and show you the practical application see how well it works in practice. So I'm about to simulate a large rain event by dumping a 55 gallon barrel of comfrey tea down this swale and I will say yes it did sink for a long time after this. So there we go that's 55 gallons and should be pretty obvious to see how the water is flowing across the landscape, flowing down the swale. And it's starting to slow down, spread out, and eventually it's going to sink a little bit deeper into the landscape. So I'm going to go ahead and pump another 100 gallons of water into that swale, and that should probably be enough for the four or five trees on the back side of it. Let's check out the uh, first swale. All right, this is an awesome test. I literally just opened it up and here's 100 gallons I got flowing down this swale. So once again, you can see how the trench is kind of working to direct the water down into my swale. Here it is at eight times speed on the swale cam. You can see how the water is flowing downhill. Really fun to see something like this in practical application, guys. I know that if we ever have a big rainstorm, these things will fill up pretty quick. And with this simple modification, I'm even able to utilize my rain jugs now. I don't have to water every plant, you know, eight minutes at a pop. I can now literally utilize my swales a lot better with this. So this uh, drain here on this swale is a 8X film. It probably took about five or six minutes for that water to finally sink into the landscape and get things like my elderberry and muscadines watered up. So there it is for today, guys, suburban swale maintenance. I hope you could uh, glean some information from this one today. Um, and I hope you could incorporate some swales into your landscape, maybe to help slow spread, sink water, Make your watering job a lot easier. Nobody wants to deal with subterranean parts or sprinklers. This is the easy way to really water your whole landscape and get water to where plants need it deeper near the root zone. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this one. Keep in touch as always. God bless.